Well, Venia recently, like probably like a month or a month and a half ago, talked about how he wants to come to Xeno way more often because he cares about getting better now. Like there was a time when Venia would like come to a tournament like once every three months and would get a win and then would leave again. And I feel like that enabled him for people to never get a read on him. They could never adapt to Venia, so they could never learn him. And he's uh, being such a good player, playing Wi-Fi, and then being a Greninja made a matchup a lot of players don't know. He was able to sneak by with a lot of wins, and then now that he's coming out here, he's getting a little bit better, but people are starting to catch on a little bit. I mean, for instance, he's in loser's bracket, but he's using that to make himself become stronger, so he can prepare himself yeah. for when he goes out at, out of state. For instance, he's going to Civil War. New York yeah. City's gonna help him become stronger in that regard. Meanwhile, you have Ray over here, who's uh, originally from Florida. Now he kind of lives in both places. And it, uh, number two on the Florida PR could probably be on the New York City PR at this point. Because he attends so many New York tournaments. Uh, he's, he's number just, two on Florida PR? Yes. Uh, uh, Central. Central Florida. Oh, Central. Yeah, right underneath Dyer, the Diddy Kong man. Okay. As we see, you know, he's immediately trying to go for the down air offstage to send Vinya to his doom. He's starting to control a little bit of the matchup. But as I say that, we see Luma going off to take a dive into the sun. All right, and wow, an amazing back air from Venia. Super deep out there. Gets the air dodge read. Finishes him off there pretty early, actually. Um, wow, that was a curious landing. <laughs> I don't really know how to what to say about that. that I mean, <laughs> he was playing a little bit of Curious George out there. Like, he just kind of threw that out. Wondering, what, what, what happens if I land right here in front <laughs> of your up smash range? And Ray's like, I'll show you. Curiosity kills the cat. Now he's going to try to up throw whatever. He got the whatever. I don't even know what that thing is. He is a Pokemon number. Oh. I actually don't know the number. Vinny trying to land down with that back air. Manages to avoid the down smash by going for the short hop forward air instead. Luma's out of the picture trying to drag him down with that up air. But Ray spacing out Venya's grab by just trying to dash dance. Fainted out in approach. Nice patience coming from Ray, knowing exactly where Venny was going to land for him to land his down smash. Oh, and there's the up smash. A beautiful uh, read there, doing so much damage. And now Venia is off stage, and it can be such a nightmare to recover against Rosa. But he's actually doing a great job of using uh, Greninja's vertical mobility to just get over where Rosa, you know, is setting up her wall. Oh, and Ray's out of jumps. This could be bad, but he immediately goes for the launch start in order to just immediately grab the ledge. Good stuff from Ray, recognizing that he was at such a deficit. That be it. And the Hydro Pump, can he get the up smash finisher? What? He whips! Oh, okay. But it doesn't matter, he gets the second up smash. That was like a perfect opportunity for him to go for an up smash because of based on where he was going to land. But I guess he just thought that he was going to guarantee himself a forward smash if he landed in front of him. I don't know what was going through Benny's mind, but it does not matter. He landed the second up smash. That's all that matters. He took game one. All right, and now we're moving on to game two here. And... It seems like Ray is actually having a great deal of difficulty dealing with Venia. And I'm uh, not I thought it was pretty close. Well, just considering that like he's been losing to him so consistently, if that is true, that he was double eliminated by Venia before. Um, That's fair. Yeah, it's because it's like you can keep up, but if you're not getting the wins, then something is going wrong with the way that you're playing. And Hydro Pump, that was just such a good finisher for him because Hydro Pump is just such a good move for catching people in fast fall animation. Like, especially if they're trying to recover low and you don't expect it to come at that moment. And Venny has such great control of the pump. Neutral air trying to get a combo starter, but actually misses the forward air follow-up. Well, those jabs are actually pretty good at getting rid of Luma, it seems. He just connects the jab, jab into the dash attack, and that pretty much get rid of Luma as soon as she spawned. And that time he actually got rid of him because he, he dashed down tilted, because he gets a little bit of a slide with it. Yeah, and it has it has such great knockback think, against. Isn't Luma. that his dash attack? Isn't his dash attack the one where he slides like that? His down tilt is like the the swipe. We might see it. Uh, that was his down tilt. Interesting. Yeah, his dash attack actually looks. Oh boy. Okay, no, he's coming back without legend invincibility, but he still manages to make it back to the stage. If he was at slightly higher percent, that down air would have absolutely been huge. But he was. Pretty much healthy enough that it didn't cost him his stock just yet. It seems actually like it's really hard to juggle um, Greninja. Like, just the fact that he's able to fall so fast, and he has good aerial mobility, and, you know, his ability to fast fall through Rosa, makes it so that her entire juggle game seems to be neutralized. Like, he's just not getting it. He's just not getting the juggles that you normally, like, know Rosa for. Ooh. Venya trying to go for the grab into the Hydro Pump. 
Manages to shoot the water in the wrong direction. Ray air dodges through it regardless. Man, trying to go for that down air offstage, hoping that Venue is going to recover above the ledge. Oh, smart. Just gets rid of Luma. You've got to know how to get rid of Luma when you're playing against a Rosalina. Oh. Like, you, you have to get rid of her ASAP the second she spawns. Yeah. And that should be it. Up throw from Greninja is a kill throw, which means that now he has the stock lead and the game lead. This is possibly Utopian Ray's tournament stock here. Oh, once again, really smart, but doesn't kill Luma. Ooh. I mean, that's the first time he went for it. Yeah, I'm actually very impressed. Whoa, oh, unfortunate for no. Ray. I don't know if the, like, Venya got into his head, but that was just so unfortunate. You could tell he just was not feeling that last stock.